Church, Hesel. I'm on the ground floor of the tower. And just to my right is the door to the staircase that goes up to the tower, to the tower bells. Several people told me about a scratching on the stonework just below this brass plaque here. And people had all sorts of different ideas uh, about what this might be. Some people said, oh, well, it must be 14th century because the stone's 14th century. But who can tell? It's a scratching on the stone. The stone may have been there for 14, since the 14th century, but who knows? Another suggestion was that a teacher who held classes in here in the past drew diagrams on the stone for the pupils. But the, di the particular diagram we're talking about is so tiny, it's quite difficult for one person to see, never mind the whole class. So I, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Other people suggested it's a mason's mark, but the particular scratching, the graffito that I'm interested in, contains about 50 separate marks. I can't imagine a, st a, a mason bothering to make so many marks just to sign one stone. A more serious suggestion was made by some of the bell ringers. They, they initially thought maybe it's instructions for appeal. Well, there are two ways of looking at that. Um, some people thought it was a written out appeal. But that worries me because there, if so, the, the diagram shows nine different pitches, and All Saints Hesel has never had nine bells. Indeed, it didn't even have eight until 2001. So I'm not impressed. The other suggestion was that it was a sort of diagram to explain to bell ringers the changes, which is a system uh, which tells them what to do next when they're ringing a peal. But nobody's actually been able to interpret it in that way for me. If it's a written out peal, apart from there being nine pitches, there are also some repeated notes and it would disrupt a peal if you had a repeated note. So there's no satisfactory explanation as far as tower bell ringing is concerned. When I look at this diagram, it looks to me like music, even so. There are four parallel lines, very carefully drawn, and on the four lines, and just above them, there are about 40 dots. So to me, that looks like musical notes. However, it's not written out in, a, in the way modern music is written out. Uh, there are four lines, not five, we're used to five. There are no indications on the dots how long they should last. There's no key signature, and all of those things suggested to me that it might be a medieval chant. That, that's the way it would have been written in those days, before the 1600s. The other problem with that is there are no words connected with it. Uh, so what I've done is write out the music and then set the words that are inscribed on the tower bells to that music. God save the church. All men who hear my mournful sound, repent before you lie in the ground. We pray you, Jesus, on life's journey, help us. Deo Gloria, peace among men. Woo! Mm -hmm.